get underway, uh, we'll start with Claire from the Cynic, please. Hi, good morning. It's Claire from the Cynic. Hi, Fran. How are you this morning? <clears throat> Hi, Claire. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Recovered from COVID? Uh, getting there, nearly at the end of my isolation. <laughs> um, first question, how do you move on from this, the disappointing result at the weekend and reset for such a big game, big cup game at the weekend? Yeah, we, we move on straight away after the game. Uh, that was the, in the team talk. Uh, you know, we cannot expect to, to, to be uh, a team as good as Rangers every single time we play them. Uh, I think overall we should be happy about our performance since then, but uh, we, are, we were disappointed with our performance on Sunday. Uh, but saying that, we got a, a massive game, uh, and that's our full, full focus should be should be in the game coming, uh, opportunity to get into a final. And you know, we cannot be too tough on ourselves because we were until last Sunday 25 games and beaten. So domestically, we've been outstanding, and, and we have to, to keep the belief because that's who we are. And if we now have doubts, then we could be in, in trouble in the next game. So yeah, very important to move on. And I think you know the girls are up for the for a good week of training ahead of a, a massive, important game. Um, just one more quickly. Hibs have got um, a history of success in this competition. Do you think that will make them a more challenging opponent going into this big cup fixture? 100%, I think so, yeah. Um, this, this is a cup game. It's nothing to do with the league. It's only one game. Uh, in the league, you can always make up for results, or, but you, this is a one game, uh, and they are good in the competition. You have in the, in the main... Uh, in the main game, you have teams like Real Madrid who don't necessarily do well in the league, but then got the Champions League and they're always in the semis, in the final. Um, so this is a, a club that used to get to the final, used to win finals, and, and we know we know that it's going to be very tough, uh, even tougher than in the league. Uh, but we are confident and, and we think if we play at our best, we, we, we have a chance of getting into the final. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Fran. I've got a quick question for Jody before I go, if that's okay. <laughs> Hi, Jody. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, after the Rangers uh, win in the cup to get to this big semi-final at the weekend, um, Kelly and I think Fran and people were talking about the you know that this squad has big team game players who sort of step up, and your name springs to mind when I think of that. Does that resonate with you? And do you kind of look forward to the big occasion like this, or or am I off the mark there? <laughs> Um, no, no, I'd, I'd say you're spot on. I absolutely love the big games like that, um, you know, especially derby games as well, um, let alone it being a quarterfinal. Um, but yeah, I think there, there were a couple of, I think I saw a tweet of say, saying a big game player, but um, I saw it. it. It puts a big smile on my face that other people see that. Um, to be fair, in, in, the, uh, in the huddle, Kel mentioned my name, you know, telling me like step up lead um lead by example should get that aggression out you know the kind of player you are and let's all follow behind her um so yeah absolutely reveling those sort of games I love it love it <laughs> and just quickly you you're also a player who with friends um set up you've, you've moved around a wee bit in that game against rangers in the quarterfinal it really looked like you'd found some kind of really good flow with like linking up with the forward players is that somewhere where you're starting to feel really comfortable doing that kind of stuff um, yeah, I guess I guess so. Yeah, I mean, I've I've played quite a lot of uh, positions under Frank, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's um, I think sort of it in in the in the setup that we're doing a wing back probably suits me quite well because um, I've got an engine. I abs I'm one of these weird people that just love running. I don't know what's wrong with me, um, but um, you know, I'd love to be up and down the wing all day long. Did that as a full back anyway, um, but. It's, it's nice to sort of be able to do that with more of an attacking responsibility. And as you say, linking up with those players, I think on the left-hand side, myself and Jazz linked up really well. And I found Charlie on a couple of occasions. Um, that's the first time I played on the left um, as a wing back. And I actually really quite enjoyed it. Um, so hopefully that those are the sort of positions I might be taking up in the future. Great. Thank you so much, Jodie. Thank you. Hopefully you get better soon as well. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. Um, I'm just going to go back to the bottom of the list, which I think is an alphabetical. Raman, do you want to go next? I think you're still on mute, Raman, sorry. Sorry about that. And Raman here from Scottish Television. We were just speaking to Dean Smith there at Hibs, and he reckons there's not much between the two teams. Is that something you'd go along with? Dean Gibson, sorry. There's a question for Fran, Fran or Jody, sorry, Raman. Fran. 
Uh, yeah, I, I agree with him. There is no, uh, you saw in the, in the league game, uh, we, we won the game, but the scoring in the 19 minutes. Uh, I think we control most of the game, but in terms of the scoreline, it was 1 1. So, yeah, uh, he's right. There is not much between, between both teams. Um, also, I think the fact that it's a cup game gives them a plus because they are good in this competition. Uh, it's 90 minutes that, uh, for both teams away from the final. And they will be up for it. Um, but you know, I, I, I do trust uh, my team, and I think if we if we play our football and we control, uh, we stick to our game plan and control what we need to control. I think we got a, a, a good chance of uh, getting into the final. I'm confident, but I know it's going to be a very difficult game for sure. Yeah, after that point, to Jody, please. Obviously, with the game at Hebs um, in September was quite a tight one. Yeah, no, it, it was very, very tight. Um, only obviously went in in the last few minutes. Um, but as Fran said, I, I mean, I, I think we controlled that game mostly. Um, but, you know, Hibs quite clearly love a cup. Um, I, I don't quite understand how there's such a different feeling when there's a cup game compared to a league game. But some some teams revel in a cup, some, te some teams prefer a league. But, you know... We, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully, we're going to. Um, we've, we've got a point to prove. It was very, very close that game. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. But you know, confident, <laughs> got to be. Thank you. Thanks, Raman. And um, we'll go back to the top alphabetically. So I think it'll be Colin Watt next from a Celtic State of Mind. Thanks. Hi, Fran. How's it going? Hi, Colin. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Obviously a tough one to come uh, away from the result on uh, Sunday without getting anything. What do you think was different from the, the game where uh, Celtic won in the League Cup as compared to the, the League game? And what can you learn from that game to take into this one against Hibs at the weekend? Uh, I, I think uh, the main difference was only we concede in the second minute. Uh, we make a mistake playing out and, and, and you know, an outstanding finish. Uh, and that that changed the whole game plan. Uh, then you cannot frustrate the team that is already winning. You got you know so it kind of uh, worked the opposite. Uh, Consider that early, you know, I think that just a little bit our our uh, belief. Um, and then you know um, life. I thought like any game against Rangers, I thought we have clear chances. Uh, you know, in another day we, we could have a score, and then it would be like any other day. Uh, and the last minute we will see because we are normally quite strong. But we, we miss uh, the, ch the, the few chances we got, the clear ones we miss. And, and you know, um, I think overall they dominate the game. Uh, life, I thought we were closer, but watching it back, uh, you know, um, we lost most of the second battles, which we are normally very good at. Uh, and that for me was the, the key of the game. Conceding early, and, and you know, that probably damaged us a little bit uh, mentally. And then, you know, uh, we didn't fight. Uh, I mean, attitude wise, we were, we were very good, like we always had. But we didn't win the, the second ball, um, and that that was uh, a bit different. And so yeah, you could, as I say, you cannot expect to be the Rangers every time. And you know, the previous four times we beat them all, which is is, is very very impressive. Uh, but you know, sometimes things don't go your way, especially when you consider in the second minute. But very important to move on. Um, you know, we know we will uh, lose some games. You cannot just win them all. We were 25 games before that one uh, unbeaten. And it's very important that we that we know that we are a very good team, uh, and you know, especially before a a cup game, a semi final, uh, you know, we need to we need to be confident, brave, uh, and we you know uh, we need to keep building on on how our standing we have been for the last uh, couple of years, and and try to get our first final together, which is one of our dreams. And you know, I I have all my faith in the girls that we will be able to do it if we play our football. It's obviously been said that when it comes to a cup game, anything can happen. It's 90 minutes and teams approach it very differently to how they approach league games, especially coming up against yourselves where Celtic always tend to find themselves with the most amount of possession. They're always sort of on the front foot. Do you think that play into your game plan for Sunday, the fact that Hibs will probably come out and have a goal, knowing that there's nothing much to lose in a semi-final? They could, they could. And especially if you see uh, the different game plan for Rangers, they came uh, pressing higher, more aggressive. Uh, and they won the game, so he might say that and see, oh, well, you know, they might struggle uh, pressing. But, you know, obviously we will be prepared for, for, uh, for high pressing. Uh, and, and then, obviously, last time, when, the first time we ever played them, they tried high pressing and we were uh, for one at half time because they left a lot of space behind that we can exploit. So, you know, we will try to, to uh, adjust up their game because we have to. 
but we won't be, uh, you know, we will have a game plan, a clear game plan, whether they come to us or they just uh, sit deep and make things difficult because in the game, a uh, pen uh, card, they sit a little bit deeper in a medium to low block and it was so difficult to take them down. Uh, and then they got faced for the counter. So whatever the game plan is, uh, either whether they come, we will be prepared for both. Uh, and I think, you know, we will, uh, we will be able to, to have a good game and hopefully impose our game and at the end, uh, hopefully we can, we can win again. Thanks, Fran. And just for, for Jody, the reaction from the, the girls in the dressing room after that defeat on Sunday, what was it like? Was it like almost a case of put this one behind us and drive on, or was there still some some kind of words to be said? Um, you know, don't get me wrong, we're obviously gutted about it. You you go out to win every single game. Um, and you know, going one nil down in, in the first couple of minutes is something we, that we weren't used to. We, you know, that's, that's, we, we've not met that sort of territory before. Um, so that sort of showed um, how we could build, how our character was going to show in that game. And to be fair, I think if the likes of Rangers score in the first couple of minutes, it could absolutely crumble a team. Um, and that didn't happen to us. So we still showed our resilience. We still still showed our fight throughout the whole 90 minutes. And I think that's what we can take away from the game. That's what's going to keep our chins up is the fact that we did fight throughout the whole 90 minutes. You know, like Fran said, we've won four out of the five. It's a decent stat. It's a very, very good stat. And, and we can still look at that. Um, so, yeah, that, you know, there were people, up, like, you know, not happy about it, of course, but we move, we go again, we've got this Sunday to look forward to. We can't dwell, we, you know, we haven't got time to dwell on things like that. It's not like, we, you know, we're gonna meet them again and then we can look forward to it then. Um, but now we've just got Sunday to focus on and that is primarily what, what we wanna think about. And just one to both of you quickly before we finish up, obviously it's a great occasion on Sunday with both games getting played at the same time. We have the chance to take a look at the, the game that's been played beforehand to maybe take a look at potentially your finalists. Um, hoping to, um, if if we've got the time, I think they'll will have um, the ability to maybe um, get there. Um, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. I'm hoping to get there to see see the opposition, but again, um, it's looking at both of them all at the same time, isn't it? Not knowing um, who's going to be winning that game because you know it's a cup. We we don't know who's going to win it. Um, so yeah, hoping to get there to watch it. Fran, some free scouting on Sunday. Sorry, say again, please. I said some free scouting on Sunday, the chance to watch the other game. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously, it's a, one game is at 12 and the other is at 30, so we will have plenty of time. But it's to find a balance between, obviously, it's important to, to see the opposition in case uh, we win, but even more important to, uh, to focus on our game, because if we don't win our game, then it's irrelevant who win the previous game. So I think very important to focus on us, and it's a game where we are going to need a huge amount of concentration, but this team has shown, uh, as you saw before, we dropped two points against the Spartans and then we went and we played very well against Rangers and we beat them. And that's why we are in the semi-final. And today again, so we are very good at standing up. Uh, you know, um, we are we play, uh, play in a brave way. Uh, sometimes we make mistakes, but it's important how we react to these mistakes. And with the defeats is the same. It's important how we uh, react to the defeats. And I think this is what we are going to see. But for that, we need a lot of concentration. So. It would be fine about us. Maybe it was the first half and then just switch off and focus on our game. <laughs> uh, all the very best for Sunday, Fran. Thank you very much. And Jody. Thanks, Colin. Um, go for, I think, again, just going alphabetically back the way Juddy talks next. Hi, uh, uh, Juddy from Celtics are here. This one's for Fran. Uh, Fran, we've seen Gordon Strachan in attendance on, on Sunday. How closely have you worked with Gordon as he's overseen uh, the women's set up the past few months? Yeah, he's been he's been a few times of training. Uh, normally, you know, when he comes, uh, uh, you know, uh, the the coaches are, are taking the sessions, uh, so I get the chance to talk to him. Uh, he's been great. We talk about football. We talk about our team, about the league. Uh, so yeah, we it's a um, you know every other week uh, at least we we saw we saw him there. He has uh, having lunch or, or breakfast with us before as well. So, so yeah, he's been, he's been um, supporting us. He's been, and I've been talking to him quite a lot. So yeah, it was nice to see, uh, to see him on Sunday. Uh, just a shame that we couldn't uh, make him enjoy with a win. Yeah, and uh, this one's this one's for Jody. Jody, of course, uh, this Celtic team are, are very much a team unit. Um, you're very much together. What would it mean for you personally? Though, to to beat your fill or even better get some silverware this season um personally it you know it it means everything you know um a chance to win a bit of silverware 
you play you play to win you play to win leagues you play to win trophies you play to win game by game so um yeah it mean an awful lot i mean the last the last trophy i won i think was back in 2017 um was a was a county cup with loughborough so it was lincolnshire county cup so that's it's been it's been a few years since i've had some silverware so um i'd personally love to get to the final um love a cup love the big occasions um so yeah but yeah we're, we're a team unit we haven't um been to a final the the club hasn't been in a final in a while so um i think it'd mean a lot to us as a group of players um we'd want to do it for um our manager because you know he believes in us he had put so much belief in us um all the time and the the you know the words that he speaks so highly of us we'd love to do it for him um, and and obviously for ourselves and for our fans as well because honestly the fans make such a difference and if, if you saw on on Sunday um, the noise that they were making was just phenomenal and I love those sorts of atmospheres um, so yeah I, th I think we, we want to do it for ourselves we want to do it for the club but there's so many more people we want to do it for as well yeah no brilliant uh, I was there on Sunday it was it was a good atmosphere just unfortunate about the result but yeah. thanks for your, your answers both of you and good luck on Sunday thank you very much Love the room, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> nice setup. I need to go and do something like that. Nice, right, Jody. Um, so, David Folds from Celtic Star. Hi, Fran. Um, you've led Celtic out in the Champions League already this season. Um, how much would it mean to you personally to win on Sunday and take the team out at Fir Hill in the Cup final in December? It will mean the world. For me, for me um, it's about growing as a team. Uh, we know, uh, everyone now in the country, that uh, our type of investment is uh, in constant development, but we didn't start huge. Uh, so we got our plans of make, maybe qualifying for Champions League this or next season, and definitely one of the plans was to win the world. However, we can do that. We don't know. So the fact that we, in the first, our very first year together, um, with a very young team, we, we qualified for a champion league that was a very special. Now, you know, with different players, again, a very young team with a few experienced players, of course, um, but, you know, to, to, to be able to get into a final together, that itself, it could be another achievement. I, I really, really want that, uh, you know, and then if we can, if we can win silver well, that, that would be, that would be amazing. Um, you know, that would be itself a success for the season uh, if we manage to, to win silver well. To do that, of course, we have to be the Celtic way. We have to be the, the, the three best teams in the country. Um, right now, Rangers, City, uh, if, if City managed to beat the Spartans, uh, and, and Hibs. So nothing is, is uh, easy, but I think uh, you know, it would be very, very special. But it's not uh, right to talk about the final when we have a, a very difficult, very difficult game on, um, on Sunday against the champions. Okay, to look backwards, Frank, um, how, have you had a chance to reflect on the remarkable 25-game unbeaten run? You must be very proud of that. Yeah, I, I wish we were talking today about 26 games unbeaten, but unfortunately, yeah, but, you know, how difficult is that? You know, that, that's including three games against Ranger, two games against Glasgow City, four games against Heat. It's really, really impressive. It's really impressive. I'm so proud of this group. And, you know, in this process, not only... We managed to do that, but uh, we lost some key players. We have to replace some key players, while other teams have kept the 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 the, uh, the most the, the core player. Um, and we are still we are still uh, competing like we do. We are still winning games in the last minutes like we do. We are still fighting like we do. Of course, uh, today we are talking after a defeat. We didn't have this for 25 games, but uh, you know, I think it's a better opportunity for le to learn in the defeat. And as you say, now you look at that and you say, wow, 25 games and beaten. This is very, very impressive. Uh, so, yeah, that, that thing that has to give us confidence for the future and, and you know, make last, last year, if you remember the uh, uh, defeat against Glasgow City, that was our last defeat. It was a, uh, our worst game, I think, that we ever played. And since then, we went into, into an amazing run of 13 games, uh, 12 wins and one draw, and going to the Champions League because of that. When we were five points behind, the top two. So I, I am hoping this defeat as well is going to make us stronger. And, you know, we react very well to defeats because, you know, we are, we are not scared to fall down, but it's very important that we get up and we keep, keep going. And I think we show every week that we are, that we are a team mentally super strong together and we are willing to, to do whatever it takes to, to succeed for, for ourselves and for our fans. 
Could you give us a quick injury update for him? Uh, well, he, he, he reacted well to, to, the, um, to the game, so she will be fit. Uh, we will have to assess uh, Chloe Logan. Uh, she got some discomfort in the Hopefully, it's nothing. Uh, but the rest are, are okay. Sarah T. Garden is one or two weeks away, so uh, for Sunday, it's going to be too early for her to, to play. Uh, Sarah Hart, uh, excuse me. And, and the rest are all fit. So Charlie, Charlie won't have a chest infection all last week. So she's been, she's been very poorly, but look like she's feeling better. So hopefully she will be fully fit for, uh, for Sunday. Right, so a quick question for Judy, please. Um, Judy, um, you were talking on Celtic TV about not understanding the, the Scottish accents in the squad last week. Um, but one girl you can understand is Charlie Wellings. Um, how has she settled in and how impressed have you been with her um, at Celtic? Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I've, I've struggled for a while, but I'm getting better with the accent. And it's just every now and then I'm having to tell a referee to just just slow down when you're telling me off so I can understand what you're saying. Um, but yeah, no, I've, I've been I've been dead impressed with her. I think one of the main things that I admire about any player is work rate um, and how much they're willing to run. Um, and that's something that she's just does all the time. Um, and, you know, one, one of the things I can't stand about a player is laziness. So um she fits into that perfectly well. She will run for us all day long um, and she will do her best to create. Um, and, you know, her goal to game ratio is something to admire. So, yes, yeah, she, she's fitting in really, really well. Thanks, Jodie. Best of luck for Sunday. Thank you very much. Thanks, David. Um, Colette, Louise, is there anything further that you need from your perspective? Uh, no, all fine from our end, I think. You're right, Colette. Yeah, good, thanks. Perfect. Okay, thanks, everybody. Uh, Fran, Jody, if you can stick around, we'll do the, the Sunday um, kind of papers just now. Does anybody else have any further questions or follow-up before we, we wrap up here? No? Good stuff. Well, thanks, everybody, for the time um, today. There'll be the Glasgow City Press Conference at 12 o'clock. Um, this will be on the same link, so feel free to stay on or jump off and then jump back on later if you're wanting to attend that. Uh, Fran, Jody, I'll set up the breakout room now, but thanks, everybody, again for the time and hopefully see you there on Sunday for the game.